the selfish giant the friendly giant every afternoon while returning from school the children used to go and play in the giant's garden it was a large lovely garden with soft green grass there were beautiful flowers and peach trees in the garden the birds sang on the trees and the children listened to them in delight one day the giant came back he had gone to visit his friend and stayed with him for 7 years when he came he saw the children playing in his garden what are you doing here he cried in a gruff voice the scared children just ran away my garden is only mine said the giant and i will allow nobody to play in it but myself so he built a high wall all round it and put up a notice board trespassers will be prosecuted he was a very selfish giant the poor children had nowhere to play they tried to play on the road but the road was very dusty they wandered around the high walls and talked about the beautiful garden inside then came spring and all over the country there were little blossoms and little birds only in the garden of the selfish giant it was still winter the birds did not care to sing in it as there were no children the trees forgot to blossom i cannot understand why spring is so late in coming said the selfish giant as he sat at the window of his castle and looked out at his cold white garden i hope there will be a change in weather but spring never came nor did summer here are two more options you may choose the end that you like or that matches with your own ending end a one morning the giant woke up to the strains of lovely music it was a little bird singing outside his window a pleasant fragrance came to him hoping that spring had come at last the giant jumped out of the bed and looked out there he saw the most wonderful sight through a hole in the wall the children had crept in and they were playing on the trees The trees were so glad to have the children back again that they had covered themselves with blossoms. The birds were chirping with delight and the flowers were looking up through the green grass and laughing. It was a lovely scene. As the giant looked out, his heart melted. How selfish I have been. He said, "Now I know why spring did not come here. I will knock down the wall, and my garden shall be the children's playground forever and ever." He was really very sorry for what he had done. So, he crept downstairs. and opened the front door quite softly and went into the garden but when the children saw him they were so frightened that they all ran away and the garden became winter again only one little boy did not run 
He was not able to run, so he started crying. The giant gently picked him up and took him in his arms. The little boy stretched out his arms and flung them around the giant's neck and kissed him. When the other children saw that the giant was not wicked any longer, they came back running and with them came spring. It is your own garden now, little children, said the giant. He took a great hammer and knocked down the wall. Every afternoon, when school was over, the children came and played with the giant. As the giant watched the children playing, he would say, I have many beautiful flowers, but the children are the most beautiful flowers of all. End B It was winter in the giant's garden. Once a beautiful flower put its head out from the grass. It saw the notice board. It was so sorry for the children that it slipped back into the ground again and went off to sleep. The snow and the frost were very pleased. Spring has forgotten this garden, so we will live here all the year round. They invited the cold north wind to stay with them. And it came. The hail also came on a visit. Every day for three hours, he rattled on the roof of the castle till he broke most of the slates. Autumn came to every garden, but not to the giant's garden. He is too selfish, she said. So it was always winter there, and the north wind the hail, the frost and the snow danced about through the trees. Years went by and the giant grew very old and frail. But the winter season continued. 